Hey guys, welcome to the video, it's Ven again, and I am playing the sixth day of Five Nights at Freddy's. <sighs> ah, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting a bit hot in here, Freddy. I beat your game, but I also had to beat the sixth day. Cause, cause I, uh, it's hot, it's just hot, Freddy. It's just getting hot in here. And I'm gonna destroy you! <sighs> Dang it, Freddy! God damn, fire! Did I destroy you? You stupid freaking Freddy! Let's go to the sixth night. I said I was gonna dismantle them and just destroy them, so I don't know how they lived to the sixth night. I thought I, did, I thought I would have killed them. Um, I guess alternate universe where I don't kill them the day after. Fucking ready. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna try this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to be Freddy. <laughs> Everyone's just loving the no shirt. <laughs> Alright. Six night. Six for everything. Everything's gonna be a okay. No phone call, no anything. They're just gonna come after my butt. Six night, yeah. Ready to go. Let's do this. Um. Welcome to the stream, DJ Spark. Uh, we're gonna do the six night. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're gonna beat Freddy. And I, for some reason, can't stop taking off my shirt because it's really freaking hot. Like, seriously, I don't understand how it gets so hot in my room. It's probably this lamp! Well, then! I'm fucked. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but check this thing and take off my headset because I don't want you guys, I don't want to get scared like you guys are. I was still scared. And I had the headphones off. Gotta be on top guard here. Gotta be on top guard. Gotta be on top guard. Gotta be on top guard. I think I've been deactivated. Oh god, what's that rubbing against my butt? Is it Chica? Is it Bonner? No. It's Freda. He's pointing it in. Oh god. What is that thing? It's it's Chica. And she's 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 got she's got a bikini. Why are you trying to make me wear a bikini, Chica? I thought we were friends. No, Chica. No. I'm just an animatronic geared. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to just wanted to kind of make a random random thing for anyone who wants to animate something. By the way, Bonnie's an asshole. Chica's an asshole. They're all just assholes, and they should get they should just get F'd in the A. Yeah. Oh look, good. All goods. All goods. All the time! Oh, good. No, not good. Not good at all. They're showing up at the same time. Draining all my power. And body went away. Chica's still there. I'm just being stared at by Freddy and his horny, horny microphone. His microphone deck. Uh. Oh god. What are they planning to do to me? I have no freaking clue. Okay. Okay. Now you're just showing them separately. How rude. I see that bikini in your hand, Chica. 
What are you trying to do? Chicken, you trying to run away from me? I'll put the freaking bikini on and just start doing things to you in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> this is a fun game, but it's like it gets tense when you have to like worry about everything popping up on you, and then you have like one second to actually hit the button before they can actually get you. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Literally, probably, going to die of horrible, horrible death things. But, um, you know, it's all good. It's all good. What's going on? Why can't you hit the door shut? Freddy's free. Crap. 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 Well, technically, I'm not dead. Might be able to survive. Unless I just flip the thing up and put it back down. Which I mean, Freddy's probably gonna get me anyways. Freddy's coming for my butt. Mm. I think at this rate, I'm probably just not gonna have anything good happen. I don't understand why she waits for me to flip the thing up. Like, it's like, you go to flip the screen up and then she's just like, ah! Then you're, then you're just boned. I'm probably boned anyways. Well, um... Better do it! God damn you, Chica! This is like how Freddy runs. That's, and that's how Freddy works, everyone. That's how Freddy functions. Okay, so we have to be really, really fast with these, I think. And I'm not that fast with my mouse. Because I'm trying to make sure everything's good. Bye. Hello. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. 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 I know I need my sleep, but I want to stay up for a little bit just to do this. I want to stay up just for a little bit to try and do this if I can. I want to know that I did not make the mistake of ending this too early. So, uh, sorry if I don't. But, meh. Let's see what happens. Okay. Boop. 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 Okay. 1am, 82%. We're doing all right, but we have to keep an eye out for those freaking filthy bastards. They're filthy dildos and they're filthy animatronic cans. Their hands are dildos. Their fingers are made of dildos. That's what they are. Giant fuck machines. Have you always been suspicious of their sausage hands? I have. Ever since the first day I went to Freddy's. Mommy, Daddy, don't look, it's Freddy! Ooh, Freddy. Mommy, lag. And then I was scarred from that day forward. It was always a filthy tragedy of sex, pizza, and chica. I don't know how they did it. 
because quite frankly all I heard were the screams of her moaning and she's still alive to this day but suspiciously the day afterwards she went to the hospital and got what people call a porcini and and from that day forward I was just like my freaking face is scarred for life I will never feel the same God damn it! Someone said they can't breathe. That someone said I'm making them laugh so hard they can't breathe. I'm sorry, but I was scarred for life. I was scarred for life, and no one was ever the same. Not you, not me, not even the my father, my dad. Was just like you cheated on me with an animatronic. Which I guess is okay, because there's just dildos. But you don't know where they've been. You gotta go get yourself checked for STDs. And guess what she had? She had. She had, um, what was it called? She probably got AIDS. Really, she probably just got AIDS. No, she got animatronitis. Which is where your vagina slowly turns into a freaking... Every part of your genitalia turns into an animatronic so you can guess what her fleshlight looked like from that day forward her fleshlight you know I mean her vagina but you know that's just it that's just everything with that God. and that was the story of how my mother died bam bam ba biggest twist of the story of the century but you, you I hope you guys all know that I was making that up because I'm trying to make it through this night and making up stories um making up stories kind of just helps fuck you <laughs> uh, I'm just guys if you're wondering why I'm laughing I'm reading some of the comments that I'm seeing Oh, oh, I should add one more thing. Because of that one night, that is the reason I've never come to Freddy's Fazbear's Pizza. Until now. I wanted to work undercover so I could figure out what these machines are doing at night. Little did I know, they were just giant fuck machines. And I was in danger. And that's why they're all after me. Not just to stuff me in a suit because they think I'm an animatronic myself, but because they want to fuck my anus. Thus turning me into an animatronic. Thus, the plot of Five Nights at Freddy's 2 begins. Where all those new, fancy animatronics are just victims of their fuckery. And then they took over their positions. Because management didn't want to have two sets of bands so fantastic I love this <laughs> um what the f- ah. well now I'm just gonna get humped by um well ladies and gentlemen it's been a it's been an honor and a privilege knowing all of you but I am about to get fucked by Bonnie and Freddy at the same time. Good night, everybody. If Foxy doesn't show up, then I should be fine, right? Yay. Yeah. My eyes are scarred for life as Foxy set her claw into my ass. It started humping my dick. It turned my dick into an animatronic. And I was never to have, able to have babies again. And then I became the monster of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just coughing because I was doing that voice for too long. Let's go to 
Six Night again. Because I want to keep trying, because we're getting so close every time. It's just we can make it. It's just that we can make it if it was during it was during the 5 a.m. shift when I was, you know, destroyed. But, you know. Nope. 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 And they're running around awfully fast. I just caught, like, one glimpse of them. And they started running. They started running. They heard Fendi was in the office. Fendi had a bigger dick than Freddy Fazbear. And they're just like, we don't want to be Freddy Fazbear's fuck slaves anymore. We want to be Fendi's. And then they decided to forcefully glomp me. And then rape me before Freddy's very eyes. And then Freddy decided, I need to steal his dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Money Grabber's talking about making a poster of the fat bears where where all the other characters are girls. I'd love that idea. Do it. 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 Right. Um sorry, I'm not Palpatine. Sorry, I'm not from Star Wars. What are you talking about? I don't watch Game Crumbs, I don't watch Market Player, I didn't catch on to that through them. I started saying, do it! Way earlier in my YouTube career, I just can't remember what video I said in. But I know I've been saying, do it! Randomly in my videos. But I don't know if I've moved into final recording. <laughs> but you know... <laughs> you know, when I think of Freddy Fazbear's... Sometimes, I like to think of them as four roommates in an apartment, and they're constantly coming down to annoy their landowner, who is literally in this room. I am the landowner, and this is what it's like to be the landowner, and having people rent spaces from you, who stay in this hollowed out basement beneath their very rooms and whenever they come down to complain you have to shut the door in their face because if they get to complain they scream in your face and then you're basically fucked and you have to fix it and this is all a game about stopping the people who rent your place from being able to tell you about problems in your building that you already knew about but you just wanted to put in there so that you can rip them off. This is the story of Mike, the landowner, and the Fazbears. Thank you for being my thank you for being my Lenny money grabber. I I I know I know you like talking about booty, showing off the booty, wanting the booty, getting the booty. Look at that booty! I want the booty. Give me that booty! I want the booty. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So, um... I don't know why I accidentally looked into the broom closet that day. But when I did look into the broom closet, I found Bonnie masturbating in the closet. Clearly, Freddy didn't satisfy the woman's... And Freddy had a social situation where he couldn't satisfy his woman's... And when Venice, the landlord, discovered that she was masturbating in the broom closet, she grabbed him and took him against his will. And then they just ended up having babies. Millions and millions of babies. Just like the fan in the cupcake. Get out of here, bunny. You are not coming in this room. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, does Vendas know that Butter Freddy lives in the room? Two doors to the right when he faces the door, his door? Not really. Uh, I heard that F Butter Freddy was in this game, but I've n I don't think I've run into him.
I saw a woman and I yelled out the window, Booty! Show me the booty! God, Brian Delfino. Okay, that was weird. Why was I able to... But I just made it at 3am! If I'm lucky... Maybe I won't have to end this early. If I'm lucky... Then Freddy might not ever come next to the door. Ah, no, I'm probably just fucked anyways. He's coming. He's coming. Freddy! I see ya! You are the touchland dick! I'm already turning into an animatronic! I'm gonna touch that booty! Uh. Oh look, Foxy's coming. Jesus, I thought I had more time! I thought I had more time in the cameras. I knew Chica was gonna come get me, but God. <sighs> oh well. Fingers of justice! Okay. Chica's out of the building. Chica left the room. And now I have to look out for Chica and Buddy, the two rapist animatronics that this world has always seen. We are all fucked in the A. Because we're trying to keep Freddy and Foxy from touching our butts. Our glorious butts made of butter. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Fendus goes to five Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Where Freddy is going to come to life in the middle of the day. And start trying to take your butts! And right in front of your faces. Right where everyone can see him. So that they will all know. That Freddy is sentient. Freddy has a soul. And I can't believe Halloween is next Friday. I might need to make a goddamn Sir Butter Stash video. But you guys don't know that. You don't know at all. You should probably give me suggestions over this nah, over the next couple days so that I know what I should record with Sir Butterstash. Now mind you, Sir Butterstash and I cannot touch each other because of the unfortunate circumstance that we have that we are technically the same person. I had to do glorious video editing. Now if I had a twin or a clone, I would be able to bring him into the video and they have him touch me right now on the butt. But you know, that's just not how it's gonna work. It's 1 a.m. on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Or Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And Freddy still has not touched my butt. Why? I don't know. Maybe because I had that bacon burrito mi combo mix. I don't know, but I've been farting for this past several hours, and Freddy hasn't moved from his corner of the room. I'm beginning to think I might have just ripped a good one all over the place, and Freddy doesn't want to ever leave the room. He even put up a sign saying, F you, you goddamn jerk, for farting in my goddamn restaurant. It's like Freddy cares about how his restaurant smells. So maybe, my theory for Five Nights at Phase 2, poop, poop everywhere, poop in front of the doors, poop everywhere, poop on their goddamn faces. Bring skunks and trap the skunks with the animatronics. The skunks will f spray the goddamn robots. And they will never be able to move again. Because they'll die of the stink. At least that's my theory. See you guys next episode of... Five Nights at Freddy's. The Goddamn Crazy Story Edition. Blah. Subscribe. Comment. And like. And push those goddamn Freddy Fazbear's out the goddamn window because you're freaking annoying!
I wish I just had to care about the doors. But it's not just the doors I have to care about. It's Freddy and Foxy. And Foxy coming to fuck the Freddy. And Foxy coming to fuck at my goddamn door. <laughs> I love how I get to see your reactions right after I said these things. Ah, so awesome. And then I saw that a butter has entered the goddamn comment section below. And then we suddenly had a butter's fucking the goddamn Freddy bots. <laughs> and the butters destroyed all of goddamn animatronics because they were torturing Vendy. And then Butters jumped on Vendy's face and just hugged him in the face. The end. Butters is a cat, by the way. If that wasn't obvious. Okay. Still doing this. Um. Chica and Bonnie, the two gales of Five Nights of Freddy's. I always manage to keep Foxy away. And Freddy away. But when it comes to Foxy and Chica, I mean Bonnie and Chica, well, Bonnie and Chica always try to fuck Fendi in the guard chair. Blah. Blah. It's just late night with Fen <laughs> late nights with Fendi, and people think I'm on drugs. I don't know why we got on the topic of drugs, but I think Butters had something to do with it. I just got fucked by Chica. I knew it was coming. I wasn't entirely scared. But I was. Anyways, guys. This has been freaking amazing. We still have a little bit to go through with Five Nights at Freddy's. But I also have a couple other series I need to work on. So hopefully we will get through this very soon. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Keep being awesome. I will see you in the next video.